Um, I want to take the data from this resource level, so I'm going to activate all these assemblies, and I'll explain that a little bit more in the uh, slightly more detailed example. Okay, so they're all active now, and they're all contributing to the uh, overall estimate. Once I'll be happy with the estimate, then I'll go to the schedule planner and start creating my tasks. So these come in uh, from Excel or another source. I'll just create them manually. And on the right-hand side, I've got my cost plan, which we've just been looking at. And I'll create my tasks, and then we'll allocate the cost plan item. So the naming is going to be very, very similar, but um, homework. So I'm going to have a separate task for each of the estimating items which I have. Obviously, you can group these things together and have a higher level schedule. And then we just drag and drop uh, from the estimate. So we kind of take that resource data and all the cost data and actually put it into, uh, put it into the schedule. So I'll allocate these to the tasks. And now if I open the tasks, now I have to decide, okay, what is the um, duration driver from those estimating items? Uh, so you know, very typically it's always going to be the labor if it's excavation and it may well be the machine. Um, so I have to tell it that, and I'll say that, okay, the phone work counter is going to lead. So for every hour, which is in the estimate, I'm going to use one hour in the schedule. So you can put an override in there. If, you know, if the scheduler isn't quite happy with what's in there, he can put a factor into uh, make allowance for the actual schedule part. 